Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 4th of 2019. Well, it is titled Insight on a Cloudy Day. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken from the surface of Mars. Now I'm showing just the still image here. But in this short clip, you can actually see that it's an animated uh, file and allows us to be able to see the changing cloud patterns on Mars. It's actually three images repeating over and over again. And what it is showing primarily we can see the surface of Mars in the foreground which may not look all that different than many desert areas here on Earth. The difference is the reddish color associated with Mars and that is because of oxygen trapped in the rocks. Oxygen will combine with iron in the rocks and sort of give you a rust or so reddish brown color giving Mars its distinctive color. Now the machinery here is from the InSight lander which has landed on Mars and is studying Mars in a different way from all other spacecraft before. Previously we have had spacecraft that have studied the surface of Mars and maybe dug a little down below the surface to look below. We have had spacecraft that study the atmosphere of Mars but this one is studying the interior of Mars something that has not been done so far. Interiors of planets are very difficult to study no matter how deep we drill even here on the Earth we are barely scratching the surface of how big the Earth actually is and how far down it goes. So in order to study the interior of the Earth we use earthquake waves. Earthquake waves seismic waves will pass through the Earth and they will pass through different types of material and different densities of material at different rates so we can use where they occur on where they're detected on other sides of the planet and we can then use that to try to interpret and figure out what the interior must be to match the observations that we are getting. And that's one of the ways that we learn that the Earth has a partially liquid core because some of the seismic waves will not pass through liquids. So the fact that we do not detect them in po on portions of the Earth opposite to where the earthquake occurred will tell us that part of the Earth's core might be liquid. Now on Mars the quakes will be far smaller. Uh, Earth has a very active crust and plate tectonics and things that will give us very significant earthquakes. Mars is a much smaller object and has cooled off a lot more so any activity is way down below the surface. But earthquakes have been detected uh, back in May and in July and those are very low level earthquakes that have been detected. But if you use the links on the page, and in fact, the very last link, which tells you what they have been named that these uh, contractions and the quakes have been named the dinks and the doinks. And when they you when you, you click use that link, you can actually access recordings where the earthquake waves have been converted into audio that we can actually hear and you can play those two to be able to hear what an earthquake on Mars would sound like you can hear the rumbling of them as the as the intensity builds and then how they fade off afterwards. So a little interesting aside there that you can go ahead and actually listen to these earthquakes. So that was our picture of the day for October the 4th of 2019. It was titled Insight on a Cloudy Day. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be moon shadow. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.